What's up guys, it is Jonathan with One Big Impact. As some of you may know, I recently got a motorcycle. I screwed up my back on deadlifts the other day. I don't know if it's extreme soreness or what it is, but it's extremely annoying. I wasn't able to walk for like the first day. So, this is interesting and I'm doing my best today. Uh, I almost didn't go to work today. It's been pretty bad. But, I have to do these unboxings. So, this one is the O'Neill riding boots. Alright? So, this is very specific that you go in the link in the description below and do not buy the other option that is on Amazon that is cheaper by like $4 or $10 or something really minimal. I saw really bad reviews on that one and everybody in that description, I was reading all the reviews and they were saying, don't buy the cheap ones, don't buy the cheap ones, don't buy the cheap ones because we bought those, we bought those, we bought those. And just upgrading a couple bucks apparently made a massive difference. Now, I have an Enduro uh, KLR650. I don't know what these look like yet. I've not seen them. You're seeing them first. If they're in there, no. Well, let's see. Boom. Right there. Those are the riding boots, okay? I have never had anything O'Neill. <laughs> Because that's always been kind of a, my back is hurting, like sitting down is actually hurting me quite a bit. For 112 bucks or 113 bucks or something like that, I'm really impressed that I got these. These are freaking gorgeous. Look at that. That is nice. Look at the nice hard steel toes. Um, first thing I noticed right away is they look amazing. Like I've never had riding boots like of my own. And you might be thinking, well, you got a KLR. Why do you want a stiff riding boot? My thing is if you're riding a motorcycle, you're out there with crazy ass people on the road. You need to protect yourself. You need to worry about yourself. You need to be wearing a fucking helmet. You need to be wearing boots just in case your foot gets caught in something or you fly off or something like that to protect those uh, points. I'm also going to be unboxing right after this video. I think it's the pants. I got some riding pants. But, uh, yeah, U.S. retail was 139 I don't think I even paid that. I think I paid less than that. These are the quality, like back in the day, like these were $400 riding boots, okay? So I'm really impressed that I got these, like for the price. It was just over a hundred bucks. I honestly don't even think I'm gonna be able to get my foot in this right now because in all honesty, like my, my range of motion is really bad right now. I'm finally able to sit down today Today's the first day I've been able to sit down, which is kind of funny because I have a motorcycle. <laughs> and if you think about that, that's kind of comical, actually. Um, so it's been it's been a struggle the last few days. I'm gonna try to get this boot on, and to see if I can get it on with a back issue. <laughs> Ugh. Okay, so apparently that's why these unbuckle. Oh, I can't reach the last one. Let's see, maybe I did something wrong here. Let me see what we got going on here. Okay, the giant Velcro at the top. That's going to be your problem, Jonathan. Now the boot opens up. Actually, 
really, really huge, which is cool. I think I'm actually going to be able to get this on. And this is all my back. This has nothing to do with the boot, just so you guys know. I wear a 13, okay, and there was some mixed reviews. I wasn't really getting, like, exactly, you know, the information that I thought I would be getting from this stuff. I might get this boot on and not be able to get it back on, get it back off. So, send help if I need it. Please. I'm going to do these upper ones real quick. I'm not going to be able to reach that bottom one right now. I can't actually... How does it go on? Yeah, it doesn't go on that way. Okay. I got two clips on and honestly my back is bothering me a lot so I'm trying to trying to do this for you guys to see there's another one there's another one I have really big calves okay and that's not like I'm not trying to gloat or anything I'm just being honest with you and That is the boot. In all honesty, I feel like I can't get my leg up any higher. I'm sorry. Maybe I can. Right there. The boot feels like from here down to there, down to my toes, I honestly feel like a robot. Like I feel... Yeah, maybe they'll suck a little bit walking around in the beginning. Meaning like through a store or something like that. Um, but I'll be a hundred percent honest with you. Like I honestly can't believe they're that cheap. Like riding boots is something you're going to have for a really long time. It's like the styling. Look at that styling, like that feathering right there. And that's like, that's like hard plastic. It's not. It looks like they got some little uh, breathers on the side. You do got a, a good flex position on the back. I don't feel like they're going to take very long to break in. I like that embossed O'Neill look right there. That's pretty dope. Honestly, how are they offering that? This little fringe up here, the little fringe, this little soft thing. Sizing is exactly exactly accurate, by the way. Um, that little fringe thing at the top makes it really soft, and I'm not even wearing like a sock or anything like that. I would say venture to say that a sock would make it a little bit nicer. But for the price, holy crap, man. You would be crazy. And here's the thing. There are probably better uh, boots out there. Ugh with bindings and stuff like that. The only thing I notice right here is, see how they're plastic and stuff like that? I'm sure if you bought like more expensive ones, they might be metal. But honestly, if you are just, you know, maybe you just bought a bike and you're not sure if you're gonna keep it or something like that. Honestly, like, those are sick for a hundred bucks. Like, look at that, look at that. Like, you're safer and in a better position. You guys, check out the link in the description below and the other videos that I'm going to be posting. I appreciate your support. Please, please, please like the video. Have a good day, guys. I hope you like that.